Now that you're in Adobe Spark, up top you have the things that you can create. For this activity, we're going to create a web page. The first thing you can do is add a title and a subtitle. And down here, with, before you click the plus, you'll get the photo op, um, choice to put in a photo. You can either upload a photo or find free photos, and what we're going to use right now. I'll type in Chicago again. These are all copyright free, so you can select which photo you'd like to use. In this case, I'll use this photo right here and that immediately turns into my background. Now when I scroll down, I'm going to see that all of a sudden you're going to start seeing some pluses. The first plus that we'll go through is over here, the split layout. Split layout's very nice because it puts a picture on one side and you can put information on another. So I'll do split layout. Over here we only have one choice. If we want to reverse it where the photo is on the other side, we can simply select here, and now my photo's on the right side. And again, I'll choose something from Chicago, so I'll put in that picture. On the left side, I can choose to add another photo so that it's a photo on each side. I can choose to add text, a button, or a video. In this case, I'm gonna use text, and I could put information here, and if I wanna add something above it, can click on there and I could put another text um, my city and state and I can actually select this and turn this into a heading make it bigger and you have some other options here you can center justify it if you want below that I can select a button and this is where when I click on edit button I could put in what I want the button to say the website that I want the student or the person to go to when they click on the button and then the justification if I want it centered I can select save and there it is. So now that I have this done I can still reverse it anytime I want. You're going to continue scrolling down and you can add more. So for the next one since we already went over photo text and button let's do a video. Very simple all you need is the URL. So I already have a Chicago drone footage here. I'm going to Command C or Control C and copy it and paste the link right in there and save. It takes a couple of seconds but now you'll see the drone footage that I copied in there. So my videos are ready to go. I'm gonna select plus again. This time I'm going to choose photo grid. Photo grid you can use here again with the free photos I can choose some free photos you're gonna see that it automatically you just select photos and it automatically puts them in and it changes the orientation throughout so the more photos that you put in there the diff more different your orientation is going to be so let's select another one and one more and how about one more Okay, so you can see now I have three on the top, two on the bottom. I'm going to select save. And at the bottom, here I can add a caption. This would be great if you want to say top left, uh, top center, top right, bottom left, bottom right, if you want to identify what's going on in those pictures. So that is your um, photo grid. And finally, we have the glide show. The glide show is probably my favorite because it allows you to put in pictures, but also allows you to explain what those pictures are and add more information. It starts off looking very similar to um, the photo gallery, except this time, I'm gonna go back here, and sometimes you don't find everything you need here. You also have the opportunity to upload photos. So one of my favorite sites is unsplash.com. Chicago is known for deep dish pizza, so I can search that. Now that I found the picture I want, I can select the download free. 
I can go back here, go to Upload Photo. Now I can select my file and select Open. And now I can do the same for a couple others. So I'm going to find two more pictures that represent Chicago and show you the next step. Now that I have three photos uploaded, I can actually go to a photo and let's say I want the Cubs photo. Second, I can move it up or as they say, backward. After I have the order correct, I'll select Save. Now you'll see when I go through this, the gliding actually changes the picture, but it also has a white transparent box here with a plus in it. When I select that plus, just like the split view, I get the same options. So now I can put in here information. I can also add buttons and I can add videos. So if I wanted to add a video of the Cubs World Series win, I could put that right here. And I could go to video and I would copy and paste. So as you're going through, it naturally creates this really nice dissolve feature from one photo to the other with the information on the left side. The other thing you can do is up here you can present, which is kind of like your preview mode. So after you're all done with this and you want to check how it's going to look when you share your link, you can use the present mode to um, check how everything flows together. So we can do a real quick walkthrough of this one. So you can see at the top, we have our heading, our title, and as we go through this, we have the picture, you also have the link here. That was our split view. Here's our drone footage. Here's our photo gallery. And finally we have the glide show. You can see how nice that is. Now nothing's popping up here because we didn't have, we didn't put information in only on the deep dish pizza one we did. What's also really nice at the very bottom, all the photos that you used from uh, built in to Adobe Spark appear here. And when you're done with that, you can hit escape and you can go in your back into the editing view.